And so, Artie continues his saga of Kingdom Hearts at the London Clock Tower. Hey, Internet, welcome back. <sighs> Alright. So, we can enjoy our ability to fly, and... There are some chests here, and believe me, you want to get them now. Because if you want to come back here, next time you do, you're going to have to fight a bonus boss. And it's a very hard bonus boss, so... I recommend getting the chests now. If only I could remember where the chests are. I want to say they're in... Oh, they up. Here's one. Dalmatian puppies! That reminds me, do I actually have a, uh, torn page? I don't think I do. Nope. Hey, Wendy. You'll find her, Sora. Just don't give up. That's very sweet of you to say, Wendy. Alright, so what we need to do is see Big Ben. Well, as you can see here, the clock is off. We better, uh, fix that. Guess what? It's the keyhole. <laughs> I never noticed Jack's uh, skeleton face on the keyblade handle. That's great. And so, yet another keyhole is sealed, and darkness is free from this world forever. Or until the next Kingdom Hearts game. And we obtain the Navi G piece. Yes! Hey, Sora? Hmm? When we grow up, let's get off this island. We'll go on real adventures, not this kid stuff. Sure, but isn't there anything fun to do now? Hey, you know that new girl at the mayor's house? She arrived on the night of the meteor shower. It was reckless to bring her here without at least using a vessel. Remember, relying too heavily on the dark powers could cost you your heart. A castaway. Though his world perished, his heart did not. When we took the princess from his castle, he apparently followed her here through sheer force of will. But fear not. No harm will come to you. He is no match for your power. Her power? Yes. The untapped power that lies within you. Now, child, it's time you awakened that power and realized your full potential. Well, Riku's doing evil stuff yet again. Poor Riku. 
don't use the darkness. Even though, let's be honest, the dark powers that he gets are pretty sweet. Peter, are you really going back to Neverland? Afraid so. But we can see each other anytime. As long as you don't forget about Neverland, that is. getting steamed again do me a favor look after her for me will ya what and we learn the summon spell Tinkerbell Tinkerbell is very good and we get the fairy harp keyblade and we learn the shared ability glide glide is very useful unfortunately it doesn't allow us to actually fly but while in the air, we can press the circle button to ride the air currents, hold down the circle button to remain aloft. Okay, Goofy's got two uh, AP. We'll give him second chance. Alright, let's take a look at the Fairy Harp. Raises max MP by 1 and enhances magic and summon power, sometimes deals powerful critical blows, so that'll give us plus 1 MP and plus 1 attack. Less range, but I think it's worth it. Yes, it looks kind of dopey, but... meh. Anyways, we are done with Neverland. Nope! You're not getting the best of me. Well, we found the Navigami piece. Let's go back to town. Sid will install it on the ship once we bring it to him. There's a tournament being held at the Coliseum. I hear there's a great reward for the winner. That one we actually are going to do right now. Because this next Colosseum battle isn't too bad if you do it uh, on the first go. I'm going to regret saying that, aren't I? Come on, I believe in us. We get a lot of we get some really good stuff if we beat this cup. I think we get three new weapons, so it's worth it. Are you going to compete? It would be great to face you! Well, thanks, Hercules. <laughs> Maybe we should call him Jerkules. You know the rules, right? Which tournament do you want to enter? We're doing the Hercules Cup. I probably should have set my items first before doing this. Oh well. It's ninth scene, the Dusk Vanguard. This doesn't look too bad. Here. <laughs> oh, look how powerful this keyblade is. Nice going, Donald and Goofy. Do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> Eighth seed, Minions of Horror. Yeah, we can see the Halloween Town enemies now without the creepy tint of the world. Man, Donald and Goofy are impressing me. That's the power of the Keyblade. Dang, that Keyblade has short range. But for some reason, it's very powerful. The Buccaneers! Yar. Oh yeah, I think that was a critical hit. Did you see how much damage the finishing blow did? Or maybe that's just finishing blows in general with this Keyblade. Huh! <laughs> 
How dare you. Also, this is what Glide does. It lets you well glide. And the keychain for this keyblade is the Peter Pan feather. Stray Phantom! Four gargoyles, three white knights. I should probably save my MP for some of the more tough fights. Thank you, Donald. I was counting on you to do that. Dane! Donald! Goofy! Nice going! The Mad Truffle! Ooh, a rare truffle! Basically, for this one, you gotta hit him and he'll go flying up in the air. You need to, like, combo him to keep him in the air, basically. It's difficult. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this next battle is actually very tough. Yep! <laughs> We're fighting Cloud. It's hard because he doesn't really flinch from your attacks. And you know it's Cloud, so... <laughs> Thank you, Donald. Okay, apparently he's like, I'm not stopping for anybody. It's almost impossible to combo him, which is very annoying. Oh, that's not good. He just activated Omni Slash. How dare you, Cloud. Goofy, keep him at bay for me. That was... Not who I wanted to use the potion on. Oh, thank you, Goofy. He gave me more MP. Nice! That is a hard battle. That is the toughest battle in the cup. Even more so than the last uh, battle in the cup. And for beating Cloud, we get the Metal Chocobo Keyblade. That's a very good Keyblade. Got some severe downsides, but it's also got some... It's very powerful, I'll just say that. But yeah, I should have given myself more items before attempting this cup. Critical hits are nice. We did it. <laughs> yeah, we did, Goofy. Just two more battles left. 
Next up are the flying pirates. Alright, Goofy. If you get any MP, you better give it to me, alright? <laughs> Why did the pirate ships have so much HP? I did not know. Alright! I'm feeling pretty confident that I can beat the final fight. <laughs> Show me what you've got! Hercules, wait! Let's go one-on-one! -on -one. Oh, brother! What a show-off! What are we gonna do? Let him go alone, I guess. Good luck, Sora! I'm not gonna go easy on you! That's right, the final battle of the Hercules Cup... ...is Hercules. And he's... decent. Also very weird, because basically he's invincible until you hit him with a barrel. And then he uh, flexes a lot. Oh man. Forgot he could do that. Take that. Okay, he is not this hard in normal mode, at least. I forgot about the dagger move. That could be problematic. Thank goodness he spends most of the battle flexing. I still do not know why throwing barrels at him revokes him of his godhood, but uh, I guess Hades never tried that in the movie. Oh, hi. Stay out of his way when he does that. <laughs> hey, you pumped yet? Alright, Hercules, knock it off. Just say, hey, you pumped yet over and over again, please. Ouch. No, Hercules, are you pumped yet? Ow. Well, that's just not very nice, Herc. Still, I think he signed his own grave. Yeah! Signed his own grave, that's not... <laughs> He's dug his own grave. Signed his death warrant. And we beat Hercules. He's easier than Cloud. Yeah! And Goofy obtained Herc's shield. That's a really good shield. So we got two Keyblades and a Goofy weapon. Wow. That's pretty good. And I didn't even hold back! Now I finally know what you mean about strength of heart. Mine comes from Donald and Goofy. Ugh, what cheesy. Come again? If we stick together, we're unbeatable. Not even Hercules stands a chance. 
You beat him by yourself! Beside me, I'm ready for anything. <laughs> but that's not exactly of what- Of course. Your friends give you strength. Isn't that right, Phil? The three of you together make great heroes. And as a team, I'm sure you can overcome anything. <laughs> and Sora obtained Olympia for getting beating uh, the free main cups. And we learned Yellow Trinity. We got so much for beating the Hercules Cup. Alright. First up, equipment. So we got two new Keyblades. Metal Chocobo possesses incredible power and reach, but reduces max MP by one. And it rarely deals critical blows. But that'll give me plus two strength. Whereas Olympia, it's a powerful weapon that is difficult to deflect, capable of inflicting mighty critical blows. Only gives you plus one strength and doesn't have as much range. But... It has frequent critical hits and doesn't reduce your MP. So I'm going with Olympia. Goofy, meanwhile, got Herc's shield, a shield with enormous power sealed within, made for attacking. That boosts his strength by five! That's, like, easily one of Goofy's best weapons. Alright. <laughs> and I didn't get any level ups from that, which is weird. Alright. We, I need some items, so... Get some potions... And some ethers. Alright, and now that we've got Yellow Trinity, we can finally move this. We moved what Hercules could not. And the keyhole was, of course, underneath it. Cause why not? Wow, Hercules signed his name on the keyblade he gave us. Real classy Herc. Yeah! Alright, we've had enough of Olympus Coliseum now. And we didn't even have to fight Hades. Alright, time to warp back to Traverse Town. We got some stuff to do, you know? We gotta visit Sid, item workshop. We gotta go to the Dalmatian's house. Lots of stuff. No Hundred Acre Wood, though. Oh, and now that we've got Glide, we can get more postcards as well. So let's start by going to the item shop, because I think they got new uh, equipment for sale. Hi there, um, what do you want? Uh, what am I supposed to ask? Oh yeah, you want to buy or sell? Alright, no, same equipment as always. Alright, so Goofy's good on equipment, Donald's good on equipment. Especially since in the next world, uh, random enemy drops can potentially give you the best weapon for Donald. And possibly the best weapon for Goofy? I'm not sure. It's a really good weapon for Goofy, though. Looks like you found the other one. Let me see it. Okay, wait here. I'll get it installed right now. I don't really know what voice to give Sid. Now, just remember what Donald said to you. No frowning, no sad faces. How can you be so cheerful? There's still no sign of your king. Aren't you worried? I'm worried. 
The king told us to go out and find the key bearer, and we found you, so as long as we stick together, it'll all work out okay. You just gotta believe in yourself, that's all. Just believe. I believe in you. Yeah, the cutscenes are getting cheesier and cheesier as the game goes on. <laughs> and this really isn't explained at all. Like, ever. Where am I? Long ago, people lived in peace, bathed in the warmth of light. Everyone loved the light. Then people began to fight over it. They wanted to keep it for themselves. And darkness was born in their hearts. The darkness spread, swallowing the light and many people's hearts. It covered everything, and the world disappeared. But small fragments of light survived. In the hearts of children. With these fragments of light, children rebuilt the lost world. It's the world we live in now. But the true light sleeps deep within the darkness. That's why the worlds are still scattered. Divided from each other. But someday a door to the innermost darkness will open. And the true light will return. So listen, child. Even in the deepest darkness, there will always be a light to guide you. So long as you remember to turn on the light. Believe in the light, and the darkness will never defeat you. Your heart will shine with its power and push the darkness away. Do you understand, Kyrie? Kyrie? I guess this part kind of is explained, or it's not really like blatantly explained, if, but like if you think about it, it's like, oh, I guess that kind of makes sense. Doesn't really make sense why it happened now of all times, but huh? whatever. What's the matter? Um, nothing. Kyrie, did you call me? I installed that navigation gummy. So either Sid installed it in like two seconds, or Go Sora or Donald and Goofy were just staring at Sora in his weird dream state for like 20 minutes. You decide. But you know, the place is crawling with Heartless. D don't say I didn't warn you. Huh? Here, take this along. We obtained Transform G. Thanks, Sid. I'm here to shop. Meteor G's a mid-size laser. <laughs> I can't help it, I need guns. <laughs> I hated them in Diddy Kong Racing, but in Kingdom Hearts, I love them. Alright. Hey! This is my glide. Jump on the box. I said jump on the box. I don't want to go inside Geppetto's house. I want to go on top of Geppetto's house. Great, I can't see a thing.
Alright, fine, Geppetto's house doesn't have anything. I'm going to the second district. Thunder Rain. That's nice. I love being able to one-shot enemies. Man, more Thunder Rains. How did I miss that chest? This better have a postcard. Nope, just a Mithril Shard. There are ten postcards around. I do not understand how you can possibly... find them all. Well, if we jump for a window, apparently we can go to the third district. Oh, that's right! That's where Donald and Goofy were in that one cutscene. Gizmo shop, no thanks. Alright, we gotta have more another Dalmatian puppy reward, right? Right? We gots to. Yay! Puppy reward, puppy reward, puppy reward! What will it be this time? A gift from Pongo and Perdita. Ooh, it's a torn page! And Mithril. Two rewards. Woo! Thank goodness the puppies always come in chests of three. A Protectora chain. I'm sorry, a Protera chain. Right shards, those are the ones I wanted. Thunder. Hey fat guys. Ooh, spirit shard. Very nice. Hey, we can buy another gun! <laughs> I think I will do that. <laughs> I love guns. Hey Koopo, can we make some stuff? Darn it! Yay, Dark Rain. AP up. Darn it. Golem Rain? Nope. Ah, uh, not a Master Rain either. Shoot. Oh well. I have no idea where to find the other postcards, though. I'll have to look into that. Hey, dude. Ability stud. Ooh, a Chaos Rain reduces dark damage by 20% and, oh, slightly increases defense. Forget that.
All right, let's head on to the new world. Hold on, Donald. We don't know what's out there. Why don't we revisit the other worlds first? I'm sure we'll find some new items. I'm not revisiting the other worlds until I get the White Trinity. If at all. We've got to warp to the Magician's Study because there are actually three things we can do here. There's the 100 acre wood challenge, but there are two things we need to do outside of the house as well. First up, we've got the yellow trinity so we can move this. And there are very few yellow trinity marks in the entire game. Chest up here. Does this have a postcard? It has a power up, even better. And now, there's also a chest over here that we need glide in order to reach. Which has Dalmatian puppies number one, two, and three. The first three Merlin kidnapped because he really likes dogs. Anyways, I think that's where we're going to leave the episode off for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. If you tune in next time, well, we'll be doing the next chapter in the 100 Acre Wood. So get excited about that, everybody. Have a great day, and God bless.